I'm Mike Tank. Dana has a night off. The investigation is ongoing into a semi-crash and deadly chemical spill in Teutopolis this past weekend. Five people died from exposure to anhydrous ammonia at the scene. They were identified as 34-year-old Kenneth Bryan, along with his two children, Rosie and Walker, 31-year-old Vasily Krikovan of Ohio, and 67-year-old Danny J. Smith of Missouri were also killed. Five others were airlifted to area hospitals as a result of exposure at the site. And two others were treated at a hospital in Effingham. As you just heard, three of those killed were Kenneth Bryan and his two children. Bryan lived uh, with longtime family friends at a home near the crash site. Dana Wicklefunt has more from those friends. Megan and Jordan Elmore have lived in a house along US 40 in Effingham County, Illinois for about eight years. The Elmores were not at home when a multiple vehicle crash involving a tanker truck occurred. The crash caused the tanker to leak toxic and hydrous ammonia into the air. Both Jordan and I were out of town. We were out of town separately. But their roommate and longtime friend Kenneth Bryan was at the house. He was a very dear friend of ours. He had been living in the room that we have upstairs. Brian's two children, 10-year-old Walker and 7-year-old Rosie, were at the home as well. Megan says they would visit every other weekend. They had um, gotten home just two minutes before the accident happened, and him and his kids were both outside, or all outside in the driveway when the initial plume of anhydrous came through. According to the Effingham County coroner, all three died due to their exposure to the anhydrous ammonia. Meanwhile, Megan says the couple has long worried about the potential for crashes on that stretch of road because traffic is often diverted to it when there's a problem on nearby I-70. It's hard to get in and out of the home and we're always worried that somebody won't be paying attention. And now their fears of a crash have been realized and their friend and his children lost their lives. Dana Winkleplek, WTWO. Now, according to the Illinois Department of Environmental Management, 500 people had to temporarily evacuate their homes following the anhydrous ammonia leak. So what is next in the investigation into this incident? The National Transportation Safety Board said Sunday that it is doing its own investigation, which will be safety focused. That investigation runs parallel to the Illinois State Police investigation. The NTSB said Sunday its team will be on scene for four to six days. It expects a preliminary report to be published in about 30 days. Final reports take about 12 to 24 months to complete. Now, anyone with information relevant to the investigation, including any video footage, is asked to email the NTSB. That email address is witness at NTSB.gov.